Fire investigators now say sparks from a Pan Am train caused the May 8th fire that scorched land in four towns. Now they say dozens of separate fires burned along the train tracks. New at 5:30, the railway is facing no penalties. WMTW News 8's Lindsay Lipman is live in Old Orchard Beach to explain why. Lindsay. Well, the two month investigation found that some unknown mechanical problem happened with that freight train, which caused the sparks and then ignited some 47 separate fires. In this area behind me, along this train track, was included in that. Pam Am, Pan Am didn't violate any state laws, so it won't face penalties from the state. But the results of the investigation now clear the way for homeowners to seek damages, which is in the hundreds of thousands. The whole area of the woods back here just on fire, brush. When the massive fire sparked back in May, homeowners sprung to action. There was no time for blame. Multiple fire departments worked to knock down the multiple fires, but not before flames destroyed 10 campers at the Wagon Wheel Campground in Old Orchard and damaged several other properties in Scarborough, Saco, and Biddeford. Luckily, no people were seriously hurt. Clearly, the witnesses all say the same thing. Forest Ranger Matthew Bennett was the lead investigator. He says this case was unusual because there was no broken part on the freight train that could pinpoint the exact cause. So witnesses were crucial in figuring out what happened that dry spring afternoon. You know, they could see the freight train going and every 15 feet they'd see sparks and then fire. If that same train went through with the same problem 24 hours later, there would have been no fires because of the weather conditions. Ranger Bennett praises the fire crews and homeowners that went on the attack and says it's important for people living around tracks to clear their own homes of any vegetation that fire could easily eat. One of the take home messages is if, if you live in and around a railroad area, um, take ownership of your own property. Now, the railroad also has to follow some rules about vegetation as well. State law requires there is seven feet of clearance between the railroad tracks on either side and any vegetation in its path. And now that there's been a fire in this area, that increases to 25 feet here along this stretch of train track in Pan Am was in compliance at the time of that fire. Reporting live in Old Orchard Beach tonight, Lindsay Littman, WMTW News 8.